Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of the FIFA 17 Manchester United Career Mode Series. A massive thank you to you guys for the incredible support on yesterday's episode, episode number one of the series. We smashed over 300 likes and also over 100 comments, over 100 transfer suggestions, which is just incredible. Thank you guys so much for your support. And if you guys can go ahead and drop a like rating right now, can we hit another 300 likes? So know that it is a lot, but can we go ahead and smash another 300 likes on today's episode? Without further ado, let's take a look at what is installed in today's episode. So in today's episode, we're still in this transfer window. I had loads of you guys, like I said, loads of transfer suggestions. We will be kicking off the Premier League season against Bournemouth. That is going to be a massive game and also a game against Southampton. So we're going to be here in the transfer window and we're also going to be having two Premier League games in today's episode. So one player that you guys did agree with me in the previous episode was the signing of Griezmann from Atletico Madrid. You guys said go ahead and sign him. He would work perfectly here in this United squad. So what are we going to do here is actually going to put in a 60 million pound bid for Griezmann and come back and, and see what Atletico Madrid say to that transfer offer. And also, I had you guys in the previous episode telling me to go ahead and sell Wayne Rooney. Yes, you guys want me to sell Wayne Rooney. That is just a massive decision and a decision that I don't want to make right now. I want to keep Rooney for the first half of the season. If Rooney does not play well during the first half of the season and you guys still want me to sell him, that is when I will go ahead and sell Wayne Rooney. So Rooney will be kept here at United, even though in real life, He's playing not very good right now. I'm going to keep Wayne Rooney. If he does play well, we will keep him. But if he does drop in form, we will sell him come the January transfer window. We have got our first training session for today's episode. We're going to simulate this training session and see how my players do develop. We do get two Bs from Bailly and Memphis Depay. Bailly almost going up to an 83 overall. Pogba with a C and Rashford and Martial with two Ds in their training. Atletico Madrid believe that our offer for Griezmann is actually unacceptable. They want 112 million for Griezmann, which is just a huge offer. But I'm going to try less. We're actually going to work with them. You can see just how much money I have in my transfer budget. We almost have almost 200 million pounds. And I don't want to go ahead and use all the money straight away in this cream mode series. I do want to keep some more money during for January and also season two. So we're going to give them a 70, 75 million pound bid for Griezmann. And we do have our first Premier League game for this season. It's against Bournemouth and already we're in some Premier League action. Let's head into the first Premier League game of this season against Bournemouth. Let's head into the first Premier League game of this season. I cannot wait to get this, be this Premier League season underway. There was also a reason why I did not start this series earlier. It was because I was waiting for it, for EA to implement the Premier League graphics. The Premier League graphics are in FIFA 17. And let's head into this game. I cannot wait to start the B... The, not BPL. The just Now it's just the Premier League. It's not sponsored by Barclays anymore. But I just can't wait to head into this game against Bournemouth and start this Premier League season. And we can see Shorty there. He's ready for the Premier League season. Like I said, I can't wait to head into this. So let's take a look at the Bournemouth side for this game because they Heaton, Francis, Wilson. They do have Callum Wilson as a striker. That man is very strong in this game. They're starting a 4-5-1 formation. King, Gosling and Burick on the substitute. Also, Nathan Ake. We take a look at my Manchester United side. De Gea, Valencia, Bailly, Smalling and Marcus Rojo. We've got Marco Verratti and Carrick in the midfield alongside Rooney, Castillo and Paul Pogba. And Zlatan Ibrahimovic will be starting as a striker. Also, Marcus Rashford will be subbed on at half time. He'll be coming onto the pitch, most likely replacing Castillo. But let's head into it. The first game of the Premier League season. Plays the ball wide to Daniels. Daniels is going down this wing. Cross is going to come in. Arta with the header. And Marcus Rojo is going to clear it out. Zlatan's trying to win the ball. He can't win it. Wilson. Callum Wilson to Arta. Arta goes for the shot. Bailly is there. Jack Wilshere now goes with the cross into the back post. And their man couldn't actually get to that ball. But Bournemouth already in the first seven minutes having a few chances on goal. 
Zlatan with a few touches here. Zlatan Ibrahimovic gets taken now. So that's going to be a free kick here in the 10th minute. Wayne Rooney looking to step up and take it. I'm actually going to let Pogba take this free kick. From 33 yards out, can he score a spectacular goal? Pogba with the free kick comes with the crossbar. Castillo with the rebound. Ball falls out to Smalling, but Bournemouth clear it out. But Paul Pogba from 33 yards out. Could have put ourselves one new in the lead. Carrick. Pogba. Pogba is going to play the one wide to Rooney. Rooney with the touch. Wayne Rooney with the shot. And a good save from the Bournemouth goalkeeper. It's going to be corner here in the 18th minute. Smalling. Can he win it? No, he can't. Jack Wilshire still on it for Bournemouth. Jack Wilshire goes with the shot. And it's saved from De Gea. And this has been a pretty even game here. So at half time, I'm going to be making two changes. Bringing on Mkhitaryan and Marcus Rashford. And Castillo and Rooney will be coming off. Rooney's just been too slow. Every time we're on the attack, Rooney's just too slow in that camp position. But let's head into the second half. Hoping that we can pick up a goal to put ourselves 1-0 in the lead. It, it is really important that we do pick up a goal. And obviously pick up our first three points for this Premier League season. Michael Carrick still on it. Carrick, can he go all the way? Michael Carrick goes for the shot. Ball falls to Ibrahimovic. And what a save from Heaton. Plays it to Marcus Rashford. Rashford now down this wing, streaming forward. He has the pace to do so. Rashford still on it with a fake shot. Rashford, can he go all the way? Marcus Rashford with the shot. And he's put it wide in the 66th minute. What a goal that would have been from Marcus Rashford. Cuts it inside with the shot. And look at how close that is to putting ourselves one year on the lead. Good ball to Sermon, back to Afobe, making his run to goal for Bournemouth. Smalling's going to take him down, and that's going to be a penalty here in the 69th minute. Just after Rashford missed a golden chance, Bournemouth have a penalty. And Smalling takes him down. And if we go 1-0 down here in the 70th minute, this is not good. The Bournemouth man is going to take a long run up. Can De Gea save it? The penalty has missed. Gradell has missed the penalty. And Bournemouth could have easily been 1-0 in the lead. We gifted them a chance and Gradell has missed the penalty. Pogba couldn't win the header. Mkhitaryan's going to collect it to Michael Carrick. I see Rashford making his run. What a ball from Carrick. Go on, Rashford. It's Marcus Rashford with the shot save from the keeper. Mkhitaryan has missed it. Mkhitaryan had an open goal here in the 88th minute and he's missed it. That could have won ourselves the game. What a chance. And what a way to end this game. This was an intense game against Bournemouth. Both teams having chances on goal. To be honest, both teams should have won this game. Bournemouth had a penalty. We had an open goal right at the end. But Mkhitaryan put it wide. The game is going to end nil-nil in our first Premier League game for this season. So West Ham have not accepted our counter-offer for Matteo Damian. They are not willing to spend £15 million. So we've got a training session here. Our second training session for today's episode. As always, we're going to simulate it. And see that really my team only picked up D's and F's. And Martial with a C, which is good to see. So we have a transfer offer here for our young 21-year-old right back. He'll be going out on loan to Mansfield Town. So we have a transfer offer here for Joe Riley. We're going to accept that one yet again, a young player going out on loan. We have $189 million in our transfer budget. Transfer offer unacceptable. Yet again, Atletico Madrid want £112 million pounds for Griezmann. We're going to bump it up to £85 million. Pounds. We have a transfer offer here for Matteo Damian from Arsenal, 15 million pounds. We're going to bump it up to 24 million pounds for Damian. That is the value that I do want for him. Arsenal come with a 15 million pound bid. Arsenal can always go ahead and accept a 24 million pound counter offer. We have a transfer offer here for Sean Goss, 20 year old central midfielder. He'll be going out on loan to Petersburg. So we have our second Premier League game here against Southampton. We are yet to hear from Atletico Madrid for Griezmann after we did put in the £85 million bid. Let's head into the second Premier League game of this season. Bournemouth gave us a real big test. It's time to head into this game against Southampton. 
So it is time to head into the second Premier League game of today's episode. This game against Southampton, our first game at Old Trafford for this season. We really do need to pick up the three points. I want to pick up the three points. Southampton are a decent side. Let's take a look at both sides for this game as I have made a few changes for the first game at Old Trafford for this season. We have a player debut here. Yes, Grimaldo has come into the side. He'll be making his debut here for United in this game. Let's take a look at my man United side. We've got De Gea, Valencia, Boy, Smalling, and Grimaldo at the back in the midfield. Verratti. And you can see a new 4 1 2 1 2 formation. Zlatan Ibrahimovic will be starting alongside Marcus Rashford. Mata will be playing out on the right midfield position. Let's take a look at the Southampton side. Forster, Cedric, Fonte, Bertrand, Pizarro, Mi Romero, sorry. Uh, that is just a very strong Southampton side. And Southampton are a good side here in the Premier League as we will be taking them on in this new 4-1-2 formation. Is it going to work out? That is why I've started it and actually started Rashford and Zlatan Ibrahimovic as the two strikers for this game. Valencia interception. Pogba. Marcus Rashford. He has the pace. Look at Rashford go. Streaming forward here. Marcus Rashford gets taken down. Referee. That is a penalty. Bertrand could not keep up with Marcus Rashford. The pace on Rashford is absolutely incredible. I am not too good with penalties. So hopefully cross our fingers. We could take the one year lead. You can see Rashford making his one to goal. Yeah, he got taken out there. Penalty. It's Latan Ibrahimovic to take the penalty. And it's safe from Forster. Ibrahimovic with the rebound. And Zlatan's going to score. And like I said, I'm not too good with penalties. I went for that bottom corner there. And it was saved from Forster. But fortunately for us, that save fell straight into the path of Zlatan Ibrahimovic. We lead Southampton 1-0. A fun fact also, that is actually the first goal in the Premier League. So Zlatan Ibrahimovic picks up the goal. It's 1-0. Plays the ball inside. This is when the 4-1-2 formation might not pay off. As Charlie Austin plays the ball to Classy with the shot. What a goal from Classy. Southampton level at 1-1. Classy with a brilliant strike. First time into the top corner. And straight from kickoff, they have scored the goal. That was a good one too there. But look at that shot. What a goal. Verratti. Martial. Pogba. Wide. Mata. Mata gets taken out. It's another penalty. It is the second penalty of the game here in the 34th minute. This time it was Jose Fonte. Jose Fonte takes down Mata and Southampton give away another penalty here. And yet again, it's going to be Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Can he pick up another goal here? Zlatan Ibrahimovic just scores. And Zlatan's going to pick up his second goal for this game. It's 2 1 against Southampton. And could Zlatan be going for a hat-trick here? To Cedric, the right back. Cedric plays it inside to Davis. Davis going to go with the shot. And what a save from De Gea. What an action-packed first half it has been. Both teams having their chances on goal. De Gea is going to save that one. Yes, he is. Valencia. Martial with the touch. Martial with the shot. And it's wide of the goal. Ibrahimovic. Headers it down, still on his left hand, Ibrahimovic. Ibrahimovic for the hat trick, Forster with the save. And Rashford couldn't get there for the rebound, but could you imagine if Ibrahimovic got the hat trick? Long throw, Rashford to Pogba. Now Pogba's got to play a good ball, that's a good ball to Mata. To Ibrahimovic. Plays a through. Marcus Rashford to make it 3 1. And there we go, Marcus Rashford picks up the goal. And it's 3-1 against Southampton. Good team play there. I waited Rashford to make the run. And Marcus Rashford, a brilliant finish. It's 3-1 against Southampton. And yes, hopefully, we'll be taking the three points here in our first home game at Old Trafford. Eric Bailly looking to play through, but that is going to be it for this game. It's going to be a 3-1 win against Southampton. What a great win here from my team. Zlatan Ibrahimovic picks up two goals in that game. He had four shots and obviously two of his goals actually came from the penalty spot. It's a 3-1 win against Southampton.
So today's how we're going to end off today's episode with a good 3-1 win against Southampton. You guys can see in the next episode, we've got an EFL, EFL Cup game against Millwall, a Premier League game against Hull City, and also transfer deadline day. Will the deal go through for Griezmann? Will we pick up a few players? Will Rooney leave the club? You guys will all find out in the next episode. If you guys did enjoy today's episode, drop a like. Like I said, your guys' support on episode one was incredible. Hope you guys can show your support on today's episode. Drop a comment. Subscribe also if you are new to the channel. I'll see you all on my next video.